And the courage that we take away today is not that everything that lives dies, but everything that dies lives. And that's a promise from God. Now, I'm not a good enough theologian and I'm not a deep enough person to tell you that I can tell you what happens in the afterlife. I don't know if the spirit stays inanimate until resurrection. I, I don't know if we go to the place of, of, of waiting called paradise. I don't know where Billy is, but I know Billy is, and that's courage. See, the sun's not brighter at midnight or noon. The sun's the same brightness all the time. It's just our proximity to it because of the tilt of the earth. The, the, the sun is not hotter in January or hotter in July. It's the tilt of the earth and the direct versus the indirect rays. Billy is just as bright and just as warm and loves you just as much right now as he ever has and he will continue to do so and in order for us to get through today we've got to believe that he is King David's son was sick and King David laid on the floor and he wouldn't eat and he saw his servants talking and he walked up to him and said what's the matter and they said the son is dead and he combed his beard and he washed his hair and he began to eat food. And they said, what is, what, what, when your son was sick, you laid in the floor and you wouldn't eat. And David said, when he was suffering, I hoped he'd get better. But now that he's gone, he can't come to me. But I shall go to him. Billy's waiting on us. He's eternal. He's immortal. He doesn't have a soul. He is a soul. And if I can offer you any courage today to get through this, is that we've got to rely on the promise. We've got to rely on the belief, not the belief, rely on the knowledge that we live forever. And it's just a temporary separation, and we'll be with him again. All of us who loved him, and all of us that he loved back. God bless you. May you rest in his hope, his care, and his mercy. And may God use us as his ministers to minister to you. God bless you all. That concludes the service we ask at this time that as many volunteer HPD personnel as possible go ahead and exit the building and begin making your way to Maple Hill. We have task force officers there to assist you with parking. So if the rest of you could just remain in the building, you don't have to stay seated. If you need to stand up and stretch, you can. When you arrive, officers, please turn on your blue lights, then stand at attention outside your car as the procession arrives. All other officers that would like to remain will begin lining up in the procession shortly, but please make sure we do have some volunteers that leave now. If you have Interop 1 on your radio, it is C7 for HPD. Please turn to that frequency if further for further instructions that might be provided. <laughs>